Now we want to simplify radicals that contain variables. And we'll do this in the exact same way that we were simplifying the radicals before when there were not variables. So to simplify the square root of 36 x to the second y to the fourth, we need to look for perfect square factors of this expression. Remember the index for a square root is equal to two. So if we recognize 36 as the perfect square because it's equal to six times six, we can rewrite this as the square root of six times six, and then we'll go ahead and just expand the variable factors. So we'll write x squared as x times x, and then we'll write y the fourth as four factors of y. And again, because we're simplifying the square root and the index is two, we'll circle groups of two equal factors. So here's a perfect square factor, here's a perfect square factor, here's a perfect square factor, and here's a perfect square factor. And now to simplify this, we'll take one factor from each group. So we'll have one factor of six, one factor of x, one factor of y here, and another factor of y here. This will be equal to six x y to the second. Now there is one more thing to consider here. Remember this is the principal square root, which means which means six x y to the second must be positive. Well we can see the six is positive and y squared would be positive, but to assure this x is positive, sometimes you'll see this written as six times the absolute value of x y to the second, or even just the absolute value of six x y to the second to assure that this result is going to be positive. But if we assume x and y are positive, we can leave our answer in this form. Next we have the cube root of eight x to the six y to the ninth. And since eight is equal to four times two and four is equal to two times two, we can see eight is a perfect cube. So let's go ahead and rewrite this as the cube root of two times two times two. And instead of writing out six factors of x and nine factors of y, we know we're looking for three equal factors. So we could write x to the sixth as x to the third times x to the third. That'll save us having to write out so many x's. And then for y the ninth, we could write this as y the third times y the third times y the third. Again, we're making groups of three because that's the index. And now we'll circle our groups of three. Here's a perfect cube factor. Here's a perfect cube factor, as well as here, 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 and here. And now to simplify this, this will simplify to one factor from each group. So we'll have one factor of two, a factor of x here, and a factor of x here. And then we'll have a factor of y from here, a factor of y from here, and a factor of y from here. So this simplifies to two x to the second, y to the third. Now we don't have to worry about this expression being positive because the index is odd. It's only an issue when the index is even. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.